I want to show you guys two usual ways to solve an absolute value equation like this, especially the equation in the form of absolute value of just x minus the number equals a positive number. So we can first do this graphically. That means we can first draw a number line, and then when the equation is in this form, we have x minus 2. 2 is the center, so we can just stop right here at 2. And then we have to know that the absolute value means the distance. So we want the distance between x and 2 is equal to 5. And that's the reason why that we cannot have a negative number on the right hand side, because negative distance doesn't make sense in the real world. But anyway though, we can just start from here and then move to the right 5 times. So we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In this direction, 5 times, and we'll end up at 7. So 7 is one of the answers, because we can also move to the left 5 times. So we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's minus 5 technically, and then we will end up with at negative 3, because this is 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Cool. And then we will just get two answers. The first one is x equals negative 3, and the other one is x equals 7, and then we are done. Perfect. And this explains perfectly why when we have an absolute value equation, we will have two answers most of the time. The only time that we have one answer is because when we have a zero on the right hand side, like this. Because the only way to not move is not move, just stay there. Yeah. And if you have a negative number on the right hand side, then you have no solutions in this case. Cool. So that's the first way. And now what's the second way? The second way is if you don't like to draw pictures, this right here is good because it really illustrates the idea. But if the equation gets complicated, it's not going to work out so nicely. So for the second one is that once we have the absolute value being isolated, which it is already, we can go ahead and just get rid of the absolute value here and here, but just have to remember on the right hand side, put a plus or minus. So why plus or minus? Because we have seen that right here already. So that's the idea. And then we can just continue. We will just have two equations to work out because the first one is x minus 2 equals, let's put negative 5 here. And the other one is x minus 2 equals the positive 5. So add 2 on both sides, we get x equals negative 3. And then the other one, add 2 on both sides, we get x equals 7, and then we are done. So I will say this is cleaner, especially if you just have to find out the solutions for an absolute value equation. So that's good. Now, I wanted to show you guys the third way, and this way is not so common. Why? I? It, it's like a, a little bit more complicated version of this. But sometimes it works out better, especially when we have more than one absolute value part. So let's have a look. Here's the deal. When we have absolute value of x minus 2 equals 5, I would like to tell you, notice, or maybe just like recall, I'll just say note. When we have x squared in the square root, yes, we can cancel the square root and also the square, but the answer is actually not just equal to x. In fact, it's the absolute value of x. And the reason is because the output of the square root has to be positive. So that's why. All right. So we're going to use this idea, but backwards. Because now we see we have the absolute value. Just move backwards. So what we'll do is we are going to rewrite this as a square root. And then for the inside, I'm just going to put it as x minus 2 and then square. And this is equal to 5. In this particular order, square root on the outside and then this square inside, and that's equal to 5. And now, if you look at this equation as how it is, the way that we can solve it is square both sides, because this square and this square root cancel, and then we will get x minus 2. Square equals, work that out, we get 25. Next, to get rid of this square, we'll take the square roots on both sides. So this and that will cancel. And the reason I didn't cancel them earlier in the uh, the square root here and also the square here because that will get back to the absolute value. So you do this and then you will just work out nicely. But anyway though, we cancel this 
But remember, we will have to put a plus or minus on the right-hand side because when you take the screws on both sides, put a plus or minus on the left-hand side. I mean, on the right-hand side. And then just work this out. This is x minus 2 equals plus or minus square root of 25 is 5. So as you can see, this right here is just going to be x minus 2 equals, let's put on the negative 5 first, and then x minus 2 equals positive 5, x equals negative 3, and the other one is x equals 7. So perhaps this right here explains why that we put the plus or minus after we get rid of the absolute value. Yeah, but of course this right here is just like a, a little bit longer version of that. But as I said, if we have more than one absolute value part, this might work better. So you guys can check out my next video or just subscribe. I don't know when I will upload that video.